Guys, this video is in response to a question as to like, what is my favorite unique design, like knife design, and what is my favorite exotic material? So I've picked out five knives kind of as a response that are unique either by their design features or by the materials that they're made out of. We're gonna take a look at them starting with this one right after you guys look at the logo. Hey, say guys, we're gonna look at this one first. Let's get all this other stuff out of the way. And take a look at this custom knife that was given to me by an anonymous supporter of the channel. This is a full custom Morgan done in ATS 34 steel. It's a fully polished Warren Cliff little pocket fixed blade. It's one of the first pocket fixed blades. This knife is actually directly responsible for us having the sea snake design that I came up with. But what makes this unique is this hand carved area on this bolster and then these beautifully done mother of pearl scales that have been really well done with a liner and they come down and they're in this almost dovetailed joint that comes up against the bolster. Excellent, excellent work. It's got these beautiful mosaic pins on it that I've allowed to tarnish a little bit um, over time. But this thing is beautifully done. It's a nice, small little custom fixed blade. It's got some beautifully done hand file work on the spine. And then the engraving that they did on this is beautiful. Um, I love this knife. It gets a lot of time in pocket. You don't see it very often. And it's also done with a custom worked leather sheath that has a lot of Norse or Irish iconography on it. You've got GRM on here. I have yet to be able to find anything about the maker of this knife. If you guys happen to know about it, I would love to get in touch with the maker of this knife. Uh, just to tell them how good this is. I really love this. ATS 34 is a steel that a lot of companies used for a while. I love it. It is kind of a, a take on, um, 440, but it polishes up beautifully. It was one of the original first super steels. This thing is a great, great slim little fixed blade EDC with a pocket clip style sheath that is just great. I have a hard time getting it in the sheath sometimes, but beautiful, beautiful knife. So there you go. There's your first one. Let's move on to the next one which is my Olamic two four, Wayfarer 247 in their Sheep's Cliff blade. Now, it's a unique looking knife on its own when it's done in just a plain Jane style, but this one was done very, very uniquely. It's got a lot of rock patterning on it, and to accentuate a lot of that, I have refinished this. It's got this beautiful backspacer on it that is all rock patterned and done beautifully. Pocket clip is is patterned to match. And I have to say one of the most comfortable and functional pocket clips on a knife. It's a unique looking knife. It's got this unique shape to it, but it is one of the most comfortable knives I've got. It's done in M390 with this big, as they call it, a sheep's cliff blade that I did refinish, but it is done beautifully. M390 on this is super, super good. And it has got some superb action. This knife always gets a little bit of attention. Some people are, are polarized on whether they like it or not. I absolutely love this knife. I've thought about selling it. I put it up for sale a couple times. I think I'm going to keep it. I love this thing. It was sent to me uh, by one of the paying members of the channel. I was told I could do whatever I want with it, but I like it a lot. It is a beautifully done frame lock. This was the fifth one that they ever made. And this pocket clip is one of the few ceramic ball pocket clips I've ever had that actually works for me. I've seen a lot of them. A lot of them are too tight. This thing is just about a perfect pocket clip. And on top of the fact that it is super comfortable, it is just glides in and out of pants pockets just about perfectly. I've never had any pants that this thing doesn't fit. But look at the feature, the, the shape of this floating backspacer on this. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Olamic knives are some of the best knives you're going to find out there. Absolutely love this one. So there you go. Unique styling on this one. Let's move on to the next one, which is this Tuya NV V4 that you just saw the other day. And it's not that this is so unique in design. It's just a pretty straightforward, awesome design. But the material that's on that is just amazing. And on top of that, it's just such a good, good knife. You've got one of the best knives on the market, but then it's done with this copper carbon fiber that just gives you that brilliant look. I am typically not a fan of carbon fiber 
and, and, and some of these other things that get done. I think they get overdone, but this was done just about perfect. You've got a perfect little match of of this pop of this exotic carbon fiber with the copper in it and the titanium that's been done really, really well. And it just winds up being beautiful. The fact that they used that much carbon fiber in it and they used it well and gave it a bolstered look and an outline means that this is a very light knife because there's a lot of the titanium that's been removed and replaced with carbon fiber. You've got S90V blade on this. It's beautiful. Some of these knives are still available. I will put links to them down below. Um, and, and so it's done really well. This is a thumb stud only, S90V. Beautiful, beautiful knife. You couldn't go wrong with this at all. And I, I absolutely love this for how cool it is. So there you go. Let's go ahead and bring up the next knife right after you guys hear from Coffee Brand Coffee, this video's sponsor. Guys, you guys know I love coffee. I even have my own personalized coffee mug. But did you know that a lot of the coffee companies out there take a lot of the money that you give them that they should be throwing back into the company to make a better product and turn it into activism dollars? Coffee Brand Coffee does not do that. They take no stance politically any direction. They take all the money that they make and try to make a better product. So if you want to support this channel and a company that I absolutely do like the fact that, that they don't lean either direction politically, Check out Coffee Brand Coffee. There's a link down below that will save you 5% at checkout, or you can use the coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word. They also have cold brew coffee, teas, and cocos, freshly ground and roasted to order. So check them out, support them, and support this channel. This is the Tucson 2 TS383. Now, this is one of my favorite knives that's in my case because of the blade and the material and where it's ground and everything, and then the weight of this. It's almost non-existent. This is one of the lightest large foldering knives I have, and it's because it has this unique pattern to it, which a lot of people have said it's the screen door knife. A lot of people have said, like, what did the inlay fall out? This is how it was done, and it's done on both sides. It's got this area here. But the cool thing about it is as much material as you see removed on the outside has been removed on the inside as well, if not more, and makes this an exceptionally light knife with a very good balance. The features on this that are unique are also really good is the pivot. The pivot on these two sun knives always looks good, but this thing has got a long pocket clip, beautiful blade on this drop point blade that comes up with a lot of belly, 14C28N, one of my absolute favorite steels. And it is such a good flipping action on this. And it is comfortable, comfortable to carry. Some people don't like the design look of it. I don't mind that. I absolutely like the uniqueness of this. Uh, and the milling and everything on it. And Tucson knives, for as much as I, as much as I would like to say, you know, things about certain companies that, that do limited, limited runs of stuff and you can't always get them. The ones when you do get them are amazing. I hate the fact that they're in such limited quality quantities. You can't always get the ones you want. But if you can ever find this one, it's amazing. But this thing is just so unique and so cool and such a good overall knife. Like I said, such a light knife for being, what are we looking at? Eight and a half inches. Awesome, awesome knife with a unique design. And now let's move on to our final one, which has got some unique materials. And it's the Oaksworks launcher with this Arctic blue carbon fiber that Eric did. And that is another exotic carbon fiber material that like typically I'm not a fan of the carbon fiber, but on this it works because it's just a pop of it. It's just a touch. It's done on both sides. And this one also has some unique styling as well. So you not only have some exotic material, you've got some unique styling that was done purpose driven, but aesthetic. These are definitely spots where you have some jumping and traction. You've got a unique blade shape that is kind of similar, in my opinion, to the blade on a Olamic Busker which is a knife that I wanted to try to love, but just didn't. And this really fits the bill for me. This is a great knife, M390 blade on this, super comfortable in hand, nice little folder, beautiful, unique pocket clip on this. But then you get, like I said, that pop of some of that exotic material there, which adds to the weight reduction on this knife. It is nice and light. It is a beefy little knife, but still really awesome. You got front flipper, 
and thumb stud you can slow roll or flip off of the flipper or off of the thumb studs and on this one you can get on it and reverse flick with the thumb studs absolutely a gorgeous knife that was four knives that either or five knives i'm sorry that either through their design and styling and features were unique or through these exotic materials made them really cool so i thought this would be fun i thought you guys would enjoy it don't forget to check out coffee brand coffee you saw the ad let's turn this around do some final thoughts and send you out about your day there you go, guys just pretty straightforward five knives that were either exotic due to their materials or by their design and stylings so not going to make this any longer. If you guys want to support the channel, please give the videos a thumbs up, drop a comment, interact with the video in some way. Comments are awesome because these are things that I'm starting to do where I'm answering to questions that you guys have in the comments. If I can make a video of it, I will just for you. If you so if you want to support the channel financially because I'm doing all of this, you can absolutely use the Coffee Brand Coffee link down below. I talked about it in the video. Or visit Tempered Trails. Both of those websites have a coupon code Crazy Sharp, capital C, capital S, all one word, Crazy Sharp. Saves you 5% at checkout at both of them. I also have got an Amazon store down below. You can take that link, pin it to your browser, use that for any of the Amazon shopping you're going to do. Supports the channel, doesn't cost you anything. It costs Amazon something though. And the final way is I have a membership down below. It's all tier based. All three tiers get access to the, to the Gilded server. It's a lot like Discord. Uh, they, it's a chat based server where everyone hangs out, shares things. There's, there's, uh, knife sales, EDC sale. There's all kinds of different chat rooms and just goofy friends, friend stuff going on all the time there. Baseline premium tier members are entered into giveaways I do on the Gilded server, separate of the stuff that I do on YouTube. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube behind the paywall. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. I'll see you in the next video.